Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Join me as we uncover unique energy solutions across Canada. Every week, we'll bring you the stories of people in businesses and communities who are changing the way we power this country. Pincher Creek, Alberta was the first place in Canada to attract wind energy development. The people of this farming area have been coexisting with wind farms for the past two decades. We talked to a local horse farmer to get her take on what it's like living next to a 136 megawatt wind farm. Hello, I'm Heidi Igel and uh, I own and live on a farm, Windy Cooley Canadian Horses, it's just over there. And this is my horse Luna. So how loud are wind turbines? Are they noisy or not? You can hear them when the wind isn't blowing very hard. If it's very fierce wind, that's all you hear is the wind. Um, on a day like this, you hear the turbines the most, really. Um, so to me, it's, it's like a train off in the distance. Um, well, you can hear for yourself right here. So how much wind farming is there in this region? It, this Pincher Creek, I would say, is the capital of wind farming. <laughs> we, I, the, I don't know the history too well, but I, I know Cowley Ridge over there um, has been there for a long, long time. They had the, they, I put on uh, uh, turbines on the, the old ta lattice towers, so really old ones like the, the ones that are up in California. Were you worried about things like birds and bats when the wind farms came to town? I, I had already done research on that and uh, realized that, that from reading uh, articles that if you place wind turbines in places and, and do your research ahead of time, you can avoid a lot of bird, bird collisions with, with the blades. Um, the bad issue, I think, came up a little bit later and actually Summerview Wind Farm presented findings um, on bat losses one year after the wind farm had been built and then funded research on trying to find out what, what had happened, what had caused it and what they could do to prevent um, it from happening in the future. It makes business sense. <laughs> you know, it makes environmental sense, but really, these are air molecules that are flying by here, and they're going to fly by whether, they, whether we use them or not. <laughs> and it, it just makes sense to make something. I'll quote my husband on this. A wind farm or a wind turbine, if anything goes wrong with it, it's not going to be an environmental disaster. Um, you know, <laughs> we're not going to have radiation here for 100,000 years in the future. We're not going to die in our sleep if it's a sour gas problem. Wind turbines are, are very safe for us, for our communities. Um, I actually feel safe where I live now because I know this wind farm is keeping a watch on things. If a grass fire comes through, I, I know that I'll be informed as soon as possible. They're, they're great neighbors. If you'd like to see more photos of Windy Cooley Farm or learn more about Heidi's recent trip to Ontario, head on down to greenenergyfutures.ca. We'd also love to hear from you on Twitter and Facebook. I'm David Dodge.